up guys, Little Max S here. Got another reaction video for you. The mobber requested Joe Rogan versus boxing. Got a lot of videos on the board as you can see right now. So if you subscribe to my channel and you ask for a reaction video, I'll do it. I'll put you on the board. Got a big update coming. I'm going to say that every time. I'm going to make it to where you can actually see the board. Because uh, right now there's glare on it because I got the little light, the studio lights or whatever. So subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you want me to react to. Doesn't have to be fight stuff, which I do love fight stuff. Doesn't have to be fight stuff. It can be anything. Uh, request a video and I'll put you on the board. The mobber wants me to uh, do Joe Rogan versus boxing. I got other ones. Uh, Finley Wilson wants Rampage Jackson, Funniest Moments. Falcons Fury wants Daniel Cormier crying. Uh, Negan wants John Jones Savage Moments. And Mr. Coldwater Canyon wants me shooting my uh, submachine gun, which I'm going to get to eventually. Uh... But I can't remember what I was going to say. What, what was I going to say? This is it. I'm not cutting this video. I have seen this video, Joe Rogan UFC versus boxing. I've seen it. It's been a while, though, and it is a very old video. So, whatever. Let's go ahead and get it started. The fighting championship started in 1993. Put together to find which style uh, Look how old that. That's back when Chris Levin had colored hair. This is like, people don't argue this anymore. UFC versus boxing. It really doesn't get argued anymore. They argued it back then because people were like, oh, boxers would kill MMA guys. It's like, I mean, you don't understand. These dudes can do whatever they want to you, and all you can do is box. You know what I'm saying? It has sought out state regulation, not run from it. I remember the old UFC. I used to watch the old UFC. You used to have to rent them at Blockbuster. That's how old it was. I remember the old UFC where, like, they allowed everything except for eye gouging and groin shots. That was the only thing not allowed. Is this back when Joe had hair? This is like Fear Factor Joe. Or will it become a permanent part of the sports culture? Uh, well, I certainly think it's a permanent part of the sports it culture. Is. It's a much more exciting sport than any of the other combat sports. It is, I'm sorry to say. I do love watching I love watching boxing, but sport in the world. Lou, what do you think of UFC? It is more exciting. I'm not a big fan, but I tend to agree with Joe that it seems to have a fan base. It's one company dominating an entire industry. My That's that kind of true. Can Can't argue with them. Guys to, to watch. Why you gotta go straight to race? Does compete with boxing or overtake boxing, Luke? It's got nothing to do with boxing. The same way wrestling has nothing it to do really, with boxing. Yeah. It's a different form of entertainment. Um, it's in it a really kind of doesn't. I mean, I'm agreeing with him so far. I don't like his attitude, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's, you know, it's sort of like human cockfighting, in my view. Or uh, That's, pit bull fighting. Guys are elbowing each other to the heads. Guys yeah. are kneeing each other. Yeah, that's what happens in a street fight. Yeah, that's what happens in a street fight. Joe, you can't, can't respond to that well, question. I, I, well, how is that human, human cockfighting? You know what that is? That's actual fighting. You know what boxing is? Well, boxing is a very limited form of fighting. It's kind True. of silly agreement. Say, like, we hate each other. We're going to fight. We're going to duke it out man to man. But we're only going to use our hands. That's it. But, True. What ultimate fighting is, it's the actual sport of fighting. It encompasses all aspects of fighting. Grounding, it's not, kicking, punching, elbow. It does, but they've put so many restrictions on it. It's, it's not. It's the closest thing you can get to street fighting, but it's, it's not street fighting anymore. Boxing matches on ESPN or HBO or any place else with blood splats like you do on Blood splats. People get cut all the time in boxing. Jump all over us. It's a different... Form of entertainment. It just, it seems nastier in MMA. I don't agree that blood is a very important part of the sport. It's not. I don't agree that elbows are a very important part of the sport. You know, I think there's... I don't, I actually don't, contrary to popular belief, I don't like seeing fighters bleed. I'm serious. It's the sport of fighting. And what boxing is, is sport of punching. That's all it is. And there's so many aspects of boxing that are... I love how he's sitting up. He's like, oh, I got him on this one. No, you don't. You don't. All the beautiful moves that... Pernell Whitaker and James Tony and some of those. Who, I'm a boxing fan. I love boxing. No, you're not a boxing fan. There's some, some great False things. statement. How do you say I'm not a boxing fan? Because you don't get it. The science. It's defense is as important as offense. You guys it's so in MMA. <laughs> Same thing in MMA. Well, Floyd Mayweather. You're, you don't you're, don't get it. you're wrong. I just said Pernell Whitaker. You don't know me and you don't know what I'm a fan of. I am a fan don't. of boxing. It's a beautiful sport. One thing you should not do is debate with, some, debate with Joe Rogan on something he knows. Joe Rogan's pretty solid. He does his research. Plus, he's an angry comedian. 
It is a more spectacular sport. That's true. That is true. I'll explain after a while if I remember why that's true. Fighters stay around way too long in boxing. I'll explain in a minute. You're going to represent your fighters, but not the sport as a whole. So can boxing match that? It's very difficult when you have one company dominating the whole world. Most of the product other than UFC is complete garbage. He's the, I mean, what about the NFL? I understand there's Canadian League and whatever. What about the NFL? That was a good fight. Chuck Liddell. Um, Dead gummit. Death from above actually met him. The Huntington Beach bad boy. Can't remember his name. Tito Ortiz. He is. I don't know if it's getting swallowed, but it, it's being overshadowed right now. It has. To this. I spoke to both top fighters in each sport very recently. Pretty Boy Floyd Mayweather, the welterweight champion of the world, and Chuck Liddell. They both had quite a bit to say about the... That's hilarious. Sport. They're talking about Floyd. This is so old. Connor yeah, wasn't even fighting, boxing, I don't believe, at this time. So they chose the UFC. I mean, they fight for like, what, 12 minutes, tattoo their head, put a couple of fists in their lip, and they... In a in a ear, whatever, and walk in and fight for a street fight for twelve minutes. And he took cut in our sport. I mean, he went. I got I got one hundred thirty five pounder in the mirror and drop him on his head. He would make out first round. I'm know, sorry, that's know. true. I know yeah, Floyd. Whoa, well, I like Floyd, but you know, it's taking him down would be easy. I mean, it's not. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. Wouldn't be a. That's funny, Floyd talking smack about the UFC, and look at the fight he's about to get into. It's hilarious, like. What you mean? That's what he was good at. He was good at being like, you know, he still is. He's good at being like, ah, whatever. Now he's got to fight an MMA guy in his own genre. So I tend to think they're probably both right. Joe. Well, for Floyd Mayweather saying that these guys couldn't make it in boxing, much of them started out about to see wrestling or grappling backgrounds. A lot of guys started out with judo backgrounds or wrestling backgrounds, and mixed martial arts or the Ultimate Fighting Championship is the first avenue that they have for uh, you know to compete as a professional athlete in their sport. I mean, they have these guys we have in the UFC that have fought in the Olympics. We have guys that or that wrestled in the Olympics that didn't have an avenue for yep. professional competition. That's true. Now the they do. You know, very I think true. Boxing is a great sport, but it is that it is a sport, and it is a, a limited sport in the fact that it is. it is one aspect of fighting. It is one aspect of mixed martial arts. And as Joe, I would say is right. Yes, all aspects I would just, together. I would just say with hands, I think guys using their hands because it is limited. It is, to me, more aesthetically pleasing. At the same time, I think you have to give respect to the guys. In boxing, Jiu-Jitsu. man, and I can sit down and watch a boxing and match and not it's care. And just invest in the match. Me, I think that it does have that. The you Quick submissions is not as fun as guys who will have to open up their hands and use combinations. I don't know. I do I do disagree with that. A beautiful rear naked choke. Thank you so much. Come on, man. This is exciting. Blue development. I love you. Big kiss. Wow. Take care, Joe. <laughs> Let's go through some history. I already forgot. I already forgot the video server. I already forgot what I was going to explain. I wish you, th- this was live, so I could, I, I'm going to explain something in a minute. Uh, boxing, like, okay, so I boxed in an actual gym for a year. I love boxing. Grew up on boxing, and I boxed in an actual gym for a year under... Um, Dead gummit. Deontay Wilder's uh, amateur coach, Dave Godber. I boxed under him for a year. I love boxing. I, I loved getting in the ring. I loved working out. I love watching boxing. I do. But to me, it's almost too much of a sport to where I don't invest in the fighters. Like, I'll, I can sit down and watch boxing and be completely uninvested in it. And just watch the guys and be like, oh, you know, all right, he hit him, ooh, ooh, and not pull for, like, any dude, you know what I'm saying? The UFC, there's something about it. They have taken the entertainment value of, like, the WWF, WCW, WWE. They've taken that entertainment value and made it to where, all right, these guys are going to hate each other outside the ring. They're going to talk smack and all that stuff. And then they're going to get in the ring in almost a true street fight. And we're going to see who is the baddest. 
And to me, when I watch MMA, I'm invested. I pick my guy. I'm like, that's my guy. And I get invested. Like, I wish I could uh, uh, film some of my old, like, I've been watching UFC since I was a little kid. I wish I could have filmed some of my old reactions to UFC because I would get so invested that it would, like, no lie, it would affect the rest of my day. Now, the next day when I walk up, I'd be like, whatever, that wasn't me. But it would affect my day if my guy won or lost. That's something that boxing has never had to me because they say boxing's the sweet science, and that's all I've ever looked at it for. I, I watch boxers, and I don't invest in them. I watch it, and I, I sit there and think. I'm like, all right, if I was in this situation, what would I do? Or, like, uh, how could I better? Like, when I was boxing, how could I better myself? You know, I'd watch a guy, and it was almost like a job, but I could enjoy it. The UFC, I can just sit back. And just, like, I, I love it. Like, I'm invested, but I can sit back and not have to think about other things in the world. Boxing doesn't have that. The UFC, to me, will always be the most entertaining thing I'll ever watch. I get a lot of hate for this. Like, I know UFC is a huge sport, but, like, at work, I'm the only guy that watches uh, MMA. I'm the only guy. People sometimes come up to me and ask me, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? You know, and like what you call them, casuals. I'm not a casual. I've been watching this since the beginning. Death From Above is another one. Death From Above has been watching UFC with me from the beginning. We've been watching uh, MMA, all that stuff. Not a casual. I've been invested in this game for a while. But like, it, it's just funny. I get so much hate like, oh, why do you watch that stupid sport and all that stuff? I do it because I, it's, to them, like the NFL, they get invested. Or college football, they get invested. And they argue about it. I could sit and argue all day. People, they know not to come at me and argue about MMA or anything like that because I'm invested in that. I'm crazy about it. MMA, to me, beats boxing. But I understand boxing has been around longer and it will always be the top combat sport. I'm, I'm serious. I don't think that MMA will surpass it in the top combat sport because it's, been, it's just been around too long. But I agree with Joe a lot. And I did in the beginning agree with that other guy, but he got to a point where he's like, he's just spouting out stuff. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Don't, lesson being, don't argue with Joe Rogan on something he knows 100% because you will lose every time. He'll make you look like a fool. The mobber, man, I appreciate the uh, reaction. This video has gone way too long. I hate going this long. I love a little short. Like, I'm not saying I'll do the videos. I'm not saying, like, uh, I'm, not, I'm not, I don't. I don't want to do longer videos. I love the short videos, though. I don't know why. I think it's because I got ADD. But the mobber, man, I really appreciate it. Joe Rogan versus boxing. We got more coming up. Appreciate you guys. Uh, subscribe to my channel and ask for a video. I'll put your name on the board, and we'll do it, man. Uh, that sounded weird. We'll do the video, man. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Check me out. SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter. I figured I'd do it slow so everybody get it. But uh, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, and also, like always, check me on the street.